So now I want to show you the two-handed tie. I, I mentioned in, a previous, in the previous segment that it matters whether you have the green over the brown. So let me show you why that is. If the green is over the brown, you see that it's set up for the gun. And it comes down nice and pretty. So that is with the green over the brown. I can't do the break here. If I do the break and then finish tying the break, you can see that the knot comes out kind of cattywampus. It doesn't look right. It doesn't lay flat. So let me show you the difference here. So if my left hand thread is over the right, I'm set up to do the gun, it comes down pretty. If we reverse it and say the brown is over the green, this is set up for me to do the break. And now it comes down nice and pretty. So it does matter which one of your sutures is on top. It matters because it will determine what the first throw you make of the knot will be on the one-handed tie. So now let me demonstrate to you the two-handed tie. The two-handed tie is, is similar. Um, so let's start with brown over green. So for a two-handed tie, we do what I call make the gun. And then I say we'll do a flip. So the two-handed tie only requires, and I use my left hand for this, only requires that you make a gun and then flip your wrist. So that the thumb takes this position. So it's going to be gun, thumb. So you, have, you should do it exactly like I'm showing you here. So the first stitch, make the gun, cross it, pinch my thumb and my index finger, rotate it up, hand the green stitch to myself through my thumb and index finger, and then rotate my wrist down, grab the suture, comes down nice and pretty. The other half now, if you notice how I'm holding it, I'm set up now to simply use my thumb. I could do gun, but I started with that one. So I want to do gun and then thumb. So cross over, pinch, rotate again down, hand it to myself, tie the knot, and you notice I'm crossing my hands. So let's do this again. So we have gun, cross the green thread over, pinch, rotate my pinch up towards the ceiling, hand the green strand to me, rotate my wrist down, and then pull the stitch down. Now I'm going to start with gun again, pinch, rotate down, cross my hands. Thumb, cross over, pinch, rotate down, grab the green strand, pull it up, pull it straight down. So again, it's, it's gun, cross, and thumb. Gun, thumb, and yes, one of my one of my strands is getting shorter than the other. That's to be expected. So that is a two-handed tie. Two-handed tie is better to use in almost all circumstances because it's a safety stitch. It allows you to put tension on your uh, initial knot so that it won't come undone. So let me just go through this one more time with a two-handed tie. 
So if I start with brown over green, my first hitch is going to be with a gun. Cross, pinch, rotate it up, pull the green one down through. Okay? What if I start with the green on top? If I start with the green on top, that's going to dictate now, instead of using the gun, that I use the half hitch that's with my thumb. Cross over the thumb, pinch, rotate down, hand the stitch to myself, rotate back through, nice pretty knot. So it does depend again on whether your green is on top or the brown is on top. Just like the one-handed tie it determines which half hitch you're going to do. It's not a big deal. The more that you practice this, the more your brain will control for that and you'll do it automatically. So now that we've uh, done the one-handed tie, two-handed tie, and you need to practice these until you can do these literally with your eyes closed. Uh, not kidding, literally with your eyes closed. Um, now let me show you how to do uh, uh, an instrument tie and how to load your needle and hold your needle holder.